here we have three figures. Inside each figure, these triangles. And we want to see in each figure the triangles are congruent based on which theory. So now let's have figure number one. Now the two triangles in figure one are congruent by. So here they are right angles. So that means we will have hypotenuse. So this is hypotenuse and this is hypotenuse. So we'll use the theory which called hypotenuse. So we have two hypotenuse theory, even hypotenuse and length or hypotenuse angle. So let's see here we have the hypotenuse, they are congruent and angles here are congruent so we'll use HA. So here we are going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. If they are right, tri right triangles or have right angles, so that means the hypotenuse, we have to prove the hypotenuse are congruent or equal and angle are congruent and equal, so we'll use HA theorem, which hypotenuse angle. Okay. Now for figure two here, for figure two, we have two triangles, right triangles. Okay, so we'll have hypotenuse and hypotenuse also. So we can use even H hypotenuse length or hypotenuse angle. Now here, as we see that the length this side is congruent to this side, they are equal, so we'll use hypotenuse length. So this one, the first figure, it was hypotenuse angle. We have hypotenuse. Two sides are equal for the hypotenuse. Two right angles. And this angle congruent to this angle, so we we'll use hypotenuse angles. This one, right angles, congruent and equal. Hypotenuse congruent and equal, and sides are congruent and equal, so we we'll use this one is hypotenuse length. Now let's see the third one. Here, two right angles, okay, and I have angle congruent to the other angle or equal, and the opposite side of this angle is congruent to the opposite side of the other angle. So this is what we called angle angle side. We have angle, angle, side. And the side will be opposite to the angle. Okay? Choose the correct option from the drop-down menu to make the each statement below true. Now we have number A, angle M congruent to angle R, M, N equal to R, S, and angle B congruent to angle to T, therefore, triangle M, N, B, let's draw it here. We have M, N, B, congruent to triangle R, S, T. We'll take it with the same order, R, S, T. Now, let's see here, it's saying angle M congruent to angle R, angle M congruent to angle R, and M, N equal to R, S, okay and angle B congruent to angle T. So this will be angle, angle, side. This angle are congruent, the other angles are congruent, angle, angle, and one of the side is opposite to one of these angles. So we, this side is congruent, is opposite to T, and this side is opposite to B, and B and T are congruent, so it will be angle, angle, side. Now, here, number B, Angle M and angle X are two right angles. Okay, let's draw the triangles. Here, angle M and angle X, right angles. Now, we have the triangle is YXZ. YXZ. And the other one, NMB. N, M, B, okay. Now let's see angle M and angle X are right angles, so the hypotenuse will be N, M, N, B, and Y, Z. Y, Z equal to M, B, okay, this is the hypotenuse, and 
angle y angle y from one to angle n so we'll have hypotenuse angle we don't have length it's angle so hypotenuse angle okay because in the right triangles if you want to be a congruent for right triangles we have two options even hypotenuse angle or hypotenuse length so when we see right angles so the hypotenuse and hypotenuse are congruent so we have to see the other option even to we'll see congruent with angles or congruent with side okay so this one will be hypotenuse angle now this one let's see number c we have angle m and angle a are two right angles let's see we have a so a is a right angle we say a b c and the other one is m b n now angle a and angle m are two right angles are congruent b c equal to b n this is the hypotenuse so now we have even to will have two angles congruent or two sides are congruent so let's see here we have a c a c equal to m n so we have hypotenuse side or hypotenuse leg so it will be hypotenuse leg okay select the correct option from the drop down menu and make each statement true we have angle a and angle b are right bc equal to i n a c equal to b n and then triangle a b c we have a let's draw the triangle i have a b c and a is right congruent to b i n so we have here b is b i n they are right and we have b c equal to i n this is the hypotenuse so we have two things even we'll get the angle or get side so here we have a c equal to b n so this will be hypotenuse length theory okay now here if angle a congruent to angle l okay and angle j congruent to angle b ac equal to lj then abc congruent to lgo now let's draw the triangle we have a b c and l j o we have l j o now let's see now angle a congruent to angle l okay and angle j angle j congruent to angle b so even we'll have this side or have this side now ac we have ac which opposite one of the angle equal to lj equal to lj so i don't think this is right that has to be equal to l o not lj okay because the opposite so now we can say it's angle angle side this is i think this is a mistake this is l o but anyway you have two angles and one of the side opposite one of these angles are congruent with the other triangle so it will be as theorem which is angle angle side now refer to the figure below we have these two triangles we have these two triangles we have this angle congruent to this angle and this angle congruent to this angle and this side is congruent in the both triangles and one of this side is opposite to one of the congruent, congruent angles so it will be angle angle side theory so here even we have M, we have MB congruent to BM, so the side, okay? Now choose the correct option from the drop-down menu to make each statement below true. Now we have angle DAB, DAB, and angle C. B A 
CPA. All right, okay. And AC, this is AC, this is AC, congruent to BD. They are hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse. Because BD is hypotenuse of ang of of triangle BSD and AC is a hypotenuse for triangle ABC. Okay, this is a given. Now AB AB going one to AB. Yes, because I have the triangle D A B and the other triangle is C B A. C A B also. C A B and D A B, okay? And A B is A B, they are the same because this is a reflexive, right? Now triangle triangle D A B D A B congruent to triangle C B A. We have right angles, high botnus, and sides are equal A B in the other in the one triangle they are same uh, this side is same in the both triangles so we have hypotenuse length so hypotenuse length now here we have dba angle dba dba will be congruent with angle c c a b okay because now we have a congruent triangle so we have a congruent triangle so anything inside this two congruent triangles are congruent and equal so so we have c b o c t c which is congruent parts of congruent triangle are congruent okay so now here we have triangle a e b this A, A, B. Here, he's saying is isosceles. Because these uh, two triangles will be equal. We have these two triangles are equal. So it will be isosceles, right? Now here, refer to the figure below. We have these two triangles. We have here this right angles. Okay. And A, B is equal to A, B. This is the hypotenuse. Now, here is saying, let's fill in the blank. If x equal to something, then triangle ACB, this triangle ACB, congruent with triangle ADB, okay, by hypotenuse length. So we can say this is two triangles are congruent. If we have now we have right, right angles, hypotenuse is this one, so. If this angle congruent to this angle or equal, and we have the side. This side is equal to this side. This side equal to this side. This is once this side equal to this side, those, those, these two triangles will be congruent using hypotenuse length. We have hypotenuse length. So here we say that x plus 54 will be equal to 3 x plus 26 so let's simplify so 2x 26 will go to the other side so we'll have 54 minus 26 will be equal to 28 divide by 2 divide by 2 so x would be equal to 40 okay refer to the figure below Okay, we have this triangle, right angles, these two right angles. Now here, fill in the plank, if x equal to 21, no, no, this is what we need to get, sorry. If x equal, then triangle ACO, this triangle, is congruent to DBO by angle, angle, side, theorem. theorem. So angle, angle, side. Okay, this one, this is one angles. Okay, and I have, we say these two angles are equal also because vertex angles, 
vertical angles they are equal so the opposite so the opposite side of any of them has to be congruent so this one can be equal to this one okay so we'll have 4x plus 12 will be equal to 3x plus 33. Let's simplify. So we'll have x equal 33 minus 12. So it will be 21. 33 minus 12. It will be 21. 